Today we look at some fun disco lighting. So, what this relies on is redstone burning out. This type of contraption is designed so you put it somewhere where you're not going to hear it or you're not bothered if you do hear it, so any sort of adventure maps and things would be great to have this sort of thing on. I would use it in ceilings or in walls that are far away, so just to light things up and have a cool effect. Underwater would be awesome as well. And that's basically what we're working on today. You just put redstone and Peter's, uh, redstone torch on the bottom, one bit on top, and this is a blinking circuit. So you put a lamp there. It randomly go on and off depending on when it burns out. So you put a little array down here. The top ones will stay on for normal. But these bottom ones will blink. As you can see, they're completely random. And when it burns out, it will then go again in a different pattern. So, as you can hear, they are they do provide noise. So we'll look at some other ways of doing this. So that's one way of doing it. Another way, if you use the same principle, we'll put a block here. We will do a wall of lamps. And what this relies on is a different timer. And a very simple way. Like this way, it burns out. This is on the off setting. So that would be nothing happening at all. And then if you change the timer up on, you'll get a slightly longer flicker than the ones over there. If you make it even longer then it will stay on and flash on and off much slower and also it will burn out less often so be less noise of it and what we can do is put them next to each other so if we have another one here it should be and do the same thing again let's move the grass So the torch goes on, redstone comes down, repeat goes on, and redstone goes on. And what you don't really want in this aspect is to have it like that. So you have to put one block there, and then it will work. So as close as you can have them on this way. So you can have cool blinking lights that are completely random. They're pseudo-random. You can't predict them at all. Oh, not really anyway. So that's one way of doing it. As you can see over here, you can't even hear them. So if you had them in the ceiling or something, or along tunnels. Now if you're going along minecart in tunnels and things, it would be quite a cool effect. Especially if you had half slabs on top of the tracks so nothing could spawn. Now they're not designed to keep up mobs. Bear that in mind. We go on to another version of this now. If we just build up a bit, we will show you the ceiling version. So that should be enough box now. Let's get rid of that so we can have the right effect. This is what you'd have if you had in the ceiling or so. So all you do is build a long bit like this. And all we want is the diagonal blocks. So if we just take out the non-diagonal ones. Just like so. We've got a string of these. And these are modular so you can just keep adding them on. And we'll do it a bit differently to the ones down there. We can put a piece of redstone on top and then you put one torch like this each way and then we go back the other way just like so and this passes the current onwards and what these work on is once they've burnt out they only normally when they burn out they don't reactivate obviously you know that's why your circuits just burn out and stop working but this way of doing it, when there's a block update, so naturally in the game it's random, but now and then, quite close between them, there'll be block updates in the game, so just where the game resets things and that sort of thing, which happens rather a lot. So every time these burn out, as soon as a block date update happens, then they turn on again. So you see they're all flickering there, and what you can do is just put lamps down, and we're just going to show you how they work here. You can put them all the way along here, and then you can put them here. And if you want to have an idea of where they get powered from, you can put them all down first. When the redstone top isn't on, 
and then you can see which ones have been lit up. The ones that are lit up obviously will work. So you see like this, some of them are flickering, some of them aren't, and there is a way of speeding this up, and this is relying on the block update from redstone. As you see these middle ones don't flicker, it's because they're powered directly. So if you put a piece of redstone ore there, what happens is redstone ore updates when it gets touched, which doesn't do much here. But if you did it manually, once they burnt out, so you could have other contraptions and things to keep the redstone flickering. So things like mobs landing on them, and such like that, if you had it the way around. At the moment it doesn't really do anything, so you could just put any block in here, or just have the solid lamp. And this way you can have it quite compact, as you can see it's modular along that way. And then you can put one next to it. So if we work out close we can get this. We should be able to do it quite close. Of course you just do the same again. So you could have a gap between them if you wanted to. So you could just do the same again repeated with another strip down the middle which would make you having identical lines of on and off. So we'll do that. So here we go. Let's put that along there. It's a nice simple thing to have. It relies on the trick, but who doesn't like tricks in Minecraft, I will admit. So put these along here. Makes a nice pattern as well from below. And then you'd have redstone lamps on the other side as well. And then all you do is build it up again. It's not even a hugely difficult build to do in survival. And there we are. And I'll show you what I meant by seeing where lamps can go. So the trick is you'd put them all on like this. You don't put the redstone on top or the other bits. And the parts where they're off, like that, you know they will not flicker. Only the ones that are already on, you know, can flicker. So if you're stuck there, if you're doing a different pattern or something, then that's how you do it. And now we're here, all we do is add these blocks back on top, and then put the redstone in. So it's a fairly easy build. It's a nice use of redstone and how the mechanics work. And it's very compact. You could have tickers, so one second tickers or so, but you could never do it this compact. There we are. Could have ones on the end. On this one I have, so I'll just add this on the end to get them all lit up the same pattern. Here we go. And so down here, if we just turn these ones off, which you can do so by putting them one tick, these ones should burn themselves out as well. That one's already off. Sort it out for itself. So down here, you can't hear anything, but to be honest, I think that looks pretty cool. There's no obvious pattern going in it, and if you had a whole roof of them, it's not even huge distance away. We're 71 now. No, 15 blocks or so. I can start hearing it about here. 73. It's about 15 blocks. So it's not exactly a huge distance away either you have to be before you can stop hearing it. And I think that looks pretty cool. So, thank you for joining me guys. This has been the tutorial on blinking sort of disco lamps. I hope to put this on my LP. I hope to do underwater versions because underwater you won't hear it anyway. But from above it will look awesome. So, if you have come from somewhere else than just my normal channel, and if you check out the rest of it, I have a high tech LP. And uh, if you have enjoyed this sort of thing, just subscribe and you'll see more soon. So thank you very much for joining me guys, and I'll see you next time.